Recapping where we are and what has happened today, the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket at Space Launch Complex 37 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station is sitting poised for launch with the Orion spacecraft atop. Due to a number of issues that cropped up during our uh, launch window today, and despite the valiant attempt, the valiant attempts of the launch team and mission managers around the country, we basically ran out of time in trying to troubleshoot the last of the issues, which uh, was a problem with fill and drain valves on the common core booster of the Delta IV heavy launch vehicle. The uh, valves had performed throughout the day just fine until we got uh, into our last uh, hold at which point uh, some issues cropped up. And so teams need more time to assess what the issue is. And while there was some discussion about going for one final launch attempt at the end of the launch window at 9.44 a.m. Eastern Time, managers recognized that because of some declining current in batteries on the Delta video system related to cameras, it would be uh, more prudent to save the, the battery life for a potential launch attempt tomorrow rather than uh, using the batteries up and turning them on when we reach T minus four minutes and counting today for an attempt that may or may not have been valid based on the uncertainty whether the fill and drain valve troubleshooting would have been complete in time. So a decision by management was made to postpone launch for today and we will stand by for more information on that. And I am going to, at this point, turn uh, NASA television back to Brandy Dean at Hangar AE, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in the Mission Director Center. Brandy? Thanks, Mike. It's unfortunate that we won't get to see Orion launch into space today, but of course that does mean that we have a chance to enjoy another launch day tomorrow. So we'll hope for the best on that. Uh, if we are able to try again tomorrow, a pending resolution of the issues with the Delta IV Heavy rocket, uh, our launch time would be the same, 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, we would start coverage here on NASA television at 6 o'clock a.m. Eastern. We'll also hope to give you some more uh, information on uh, our plans for tomorrow and a briefing that will be coming up on NASA television, and we'll let you know the time for that as soon as we are able. But stay tuned here, and uh, of course, check out uh, nasa.gov for more information. Thanks so much, and we'll hope to see you again tomorrow. LCRC and one. LCRC. Roger, new T013, colon 26 has been coordinated and approved by the range. Roger. For an internal. Three minutes, 50 seconds. The common booster core liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tank securing will be started at T minus three minutes, 32 seconds. Also vehicle transfer from ground facility power to its own internal battery three power. Three minutes, 32 seconds. CBC propellant tank securing started. Vehicle transfer internal complete. Safe lock secure at flight level. Vehicle ordnance system will be armed and the common booster core liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen propellant tanks will be verified at T minus three minutes. CBC pre press. Hold, hold, hold. Fuel one, fuel and drain not closed. Roger. Two places. ALC, hold fire on. Hold fire on. Verify script aborted. Aborted. Sequencer is stopped. Launch enabled, disabled. GE established main power on. Main power is on. BST1 switch BSS1 and 2, force to channel 1 and bill. That's complete. SYS established alarms enabled. Enabled. ATC3 established vehicle heaters automated control enabled. Enabled. LC can verify T minus 30 and 60 second limits are off. GE verify arm igniters reset. Verified. TM1 flight lock and reset. Establish reset. What we know at this point is that a hold was called because a fuel and drain valve did not close on one of the liquid oxygen or liquid hydrogen systems for one of the three common booster cores. Standing by for more details.
ATC1, LC. ATC1. Any constraint for vehicle transfer external? No constraint. Roger. SYS established for Coreland changes deactivated. Deactivated. ATC3, vehicle ordinance safe. Established safe. OSM, report FTS, S SNA 1 and 2 safe. Safe. OSM on pad safety panel, solid motor, SNA arm permit safe. Safe. ATC3, vehicle transfer external. Vehicle transferring external. We have one hour and 15 minutes, 55 seconds remaining in today's launch window for Orion.